a momentary loss of sight and a momentary loss of vision may have been what you're suffering, but they're talking about how you've been punched straight to the face with inspiration. You have now been reignited. Somebody has relit the spark in you. And they're just talking about how somebody has been kind of feeling as though they're doing everything they can and they're not gaining the outcome they desire. And Spirit's just saying, stop. It's coming. Stop. Relax. Take a pause. Take a break. Don't stop forever. Don't give up on what you're doing. And they're just talking about somebody has been weaving their healing journey with their spiritual journey and they've been woven the two together and one time or another you're going to have to step away from one and focus on the other and vice versa and they're just talking about somebody who has created something who has built something and it's almost as like the feeling as if it's come from the stars and the fact that this feels like it was so purposeful for you it feels like there was something that this was something you had to do in the moment and then there's just like this underlying feeling of like did I make the right choice? They're saying step aside from your head. Get out of your thoughts. They are not you. You are not them. They just are a product of the energy in which you feed. What are you feeding is what they're asking you. You have gone to the depths of you and back. They're talking about you having lived um, through what you've needed to live through. You were, They're talking about you being adaptable here. You being somebody who has truly overcome everything and they're just asking you to be adaptable in this moment you are holding so hard onto an expectation that you have set for yourself you are holding so hard onto something that you you said had to happen this way was going to come in this way and they're telling you to lose your expectations that is what they want you to release and release the time frame on which you are holding yourself to but they want you to keep up on your persistence they're just talking about how some people are going through a little bit of a struggle right now, whether it be financially or um, physically, it is a struggle for you. And this has to do with directly of what you're trying to cultivate. And they're talking about somebody wanting to do all the right things and just are scared that what they're doing might not be right. And what if they took a wrong turn somewhere? Stop questioning yourself. Stop questioning yourself. They're talking about now is the time not to question yourself, but to act on what you feel called to do. And for some of you, that's opening up your throat chakra. For some of you, that's speaking your truth because you haven't done it so far. Because you haven't done it quite yet. You're going to need your strength out here. You are bridging into some beautiful things. This is a this is literally a brand new beginning for you. And this is why it's scary because you're up against the ropes and everything has to fall into place or everything falls apart. Spirit saying, let it go. Let it go. You can't control this because this was divinely dropped in your lap by them. This is exactly where you're supposed to be right now. This is you learning to trust yourself and in turn, trust them. You may feel as though you are hitting a, a, a realm of stagnancy and you are motionless, but that is not what's happening. What's actually happening is you are accepting your destiny. You are accepting that you can't control everything and that part of control is release and this is hard for some people especially my independent people this is difficult and they're just talking about you've always been the one to cultivate your okay you've always been the one to cultivate your finances you've always been the one who has had to cultivate through hard work what you have and I keep hearing someone being like but I worked hard for this damn right you did nobody not one person is saying you didn't work hard for this because you did but you're here now and you can't do new things with old tools. There's a new sense of self, some cycles that you are currently breaking. And right now, <laughs> you're going to need your resilience. You're going to need your adaptability. And you're going to need all of your dreams intact. So stop squandering them. Stop pushing them away. Stop bullying yourself. You are exactly where you need to be. Take that high perspective again reignite your dreams, your passions, your vision for what you are putting together, what you are cultivating. It's go time. Speak your truth. This is part of your release that is needed. And let go of the time frame you have put yourself on. Nobody else has put you on a time frame besides you. Spirit does not want you to hold yourself to that time frame. They'd rather you hold yourself to the frequency of joy and they're saying they'd rather you 
be enthralled in what you're doing and love what you're doing than stress yourself out over not reaching your benchmarks. You are worth more than benchmarks. So time to be resilient. It's time to be bridging out of that anxiety that you're feeling over the odds of something not coming in the way you expected. This is <laughs> as I say that you as I say that you need to reach into your joy frequency. We got the sun card out here. This is about openness. This is about self-expression. This is about your enthusiasms. This is about what is going to light your fire. This is your confidence. And this is you knowing that everything has a purpose. This is your joy. This is your freedom. Have fun. Bye, B.